Welcome to Text Time. Today I'm going to show you how to make any of your Steam games go from looking like this to looking like this. So let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and hit the Steam button, then power and switch over to desktop mode. All right, so after we switch over to desktop mode, all we need to do is head over to Firefox down here. And if you don't have Firefox on the bottom, you can always download it from the Discover Shop right here. And if you don't have the Discover Shop, you can always head over to the search bar and look it up and you'll have it installed. So just go to Discover Shop, get yourself the browser, and from there, we're gonna open up the browser and head over to Google. And once you're on Google, look up Decky Loader. And the first option that will come up is a GitHub repository. So just open that link and it'll take you to something that looks like this. Don't let this confuse you. All we need from this page is just to scroll down until you see that download button and just click on that download and it will automatically download it as you see on the top right right here. So all you'll need to do is click on that folder icon on the right side and it will automatically take you to where it downloaded the file. So at this point, I would say just close out of the browser and wherever it downloaded it for you, just click and drag it to your desktop and just click move here. And there we go, just like that, we have the key loader. So from here, we're just going to double click the key loader and then we're just going to follow the prompts. So hit continue. And you may or may not get this prompt depending on how you originally set up your Steam Deck, but if you do get it, just hit yes. And most likely when you get to this page, you'll only have the two first options. You won't have that last one because I already have it installed. But when you get to this page, just make sure that you're selected on the release version and then just hit OK. All right, so just like that, we got Decky Loader installed. So all we need to do at this point is that we're just going to head back over to gaming mode. All right, so once you head back over to your gaming mode, you'll hit the three dots right here and you should be able to see a new icon now that looks like an outlet plugin. And if you don't have it right here, just head over to the Steam options, settings, system and then under system you'll see that there's an option called system update channel make sure that you're unstable if you're on one of the other versions then it might not show up because sometimes it's unstable and once you switch over to stable your steam deck will want to do a restart and after that restart when you turn it back on you'll find that you now have that plugin all right so the mod we're looking for is vibrant deck that i already have installed but how you're going to get it is that once you select the option for the plugin, you'll see that up top there is an icon that looks like a store. Just click on that. And then on the store, you have a search bar where you can look it up, but I find that the search bar doesn't always work. I just scroll down to near the bottom all the way until you find Vibrant Deck, which is right over here. So when you get to that, just hit the install button and then install again and it will get installed in just a second. Most of these mods are very small, so they take like one to five seconds to get installed. All right, so once you have this step done, just head back and then hit the three dots again. And you'll notice that now you have the option for Vibrant Deck where before you would have had nothing here. So we're just gonna go over to Vibrant Deck and you'll notice that you have a bunch of options here. All we're going to be working with is the saturation and the option for profile, this will come later. So to show you how this works, let's open up a game. All right, so right now I have a game open and basically all you're going to need to do is hit the three dots, go to Vibrant Deck, and you'll play with that saturation option until you find an option that you like. So with that saturation, if you turn it up, it turns up the colors. If you turn it down, it will make it basically black and white because it takes the colors away. So usually I found that being anywhere between like 140 to 170 is kind of where I wanna be because getting to 170 is kind of on the high end. I feel like it gets a little bit too colorful and 140 tends to be good. So just find your sweet spot. Now, the good thing about this mod is that it has that profile option so that when you turn it on, it will save that when you're playing this game, you want the saturation to be on 140. When you're playing a different game, you can set it up to something else. So that way it memorizes it. And that way you don't have to keep setting up your preference per game every time you open up a different game. For example, I'm gonna turn it up to like 217. This is, this hurts my eyes. And then I'm going to close out of the game. And you'll notice that once I close out of the game, if I go back to Vibrant Deck, it's still at 140 instead of 217. Cause it memorizes that for that game, I wanted 217 and for the desktop, I wanted 140. And here is another example where I have Need for Speed Hot Pursuit on. And you could notice that the game on the side right here, where if I turn it on, this is what it will look like. If I turn it off, this is what it looks like. So on, off, on, off. So it helps make the game look a bit better and it basically makes all the colors just pop. And since the saturation is higher, the colors are a bit deeper. It feels like it feels like you're gaming on an OLED, even though of course it's not, it's not gonna come near how an OLED looks, but it still looks much better than it used to. So if you enjoyed this video and you learned something new, maybe help me out by leaving a like or subscribe. Peace.